Hello dear learners in today's video we are going to talk about the MCQs from social pharmacy that is health education and community pharmacy from the chapter epidemiology in part 10 of epidemiology we are going to discuss few of the MCQs which talks about the modes of trans transmission and susceptible host and uh, different concepts small small concepts such as generation time communicability period etc so to start with the question one first question says the time during the time during when the infectious agent is transmissible from one host to another susceptible host the time is whether it is latent period whether it is incubation period whether it is generation time whether it is communicability period the correct answer is it is communicability period communication from host to another susceptible host when the infectious agent is transmitted the time period during which both come in contact or both can communicate is the communicability period next question is time interval between the entry of the microorganism and maximum infectivity of the host when the microorganism enter inside the body and it infects to the maximum extent to the host the interval between entry and infectivity is whether it is latent period whether it is communicability period whether it is generation time or all of them the correct answer is generation time entry to maximum infectivity now here you can see to understand few concepts we will have to go through one diagram here this is infector infection that means this is the person who is infected and who is going to be infected future infecty and this is infector so few concepts are there here as you can see this is generation time this is incubation period this is latent period so to talk about first the incubation period incubation period as you can see here this is the host or the infector which is suffering from the infection and this is the person who is going to be suffer from uh, infection in future so when the infector this infection the time between infection and onset of disease symptom here as you can see infecty has been infected and here at this point that infector is showing the symptom after some time this infector with symptom will infect some other infecty and that infecty also after some time will produce the symptoms so what is this time lag we will study now this incubation period is the time between the infection and the onset of disease of symptom that means once the uh, causative agent has entered into the body till that agent shows the symptoms the time lag between the entry and showing the symptom is incubation period now coming towards the another concept that is generation time if you look at the generation time it is the time between the moments of infection of an infector infecty pair this is the time between moments of infection of an infector infecty pair this is the infector and this is infecty infected host this is going to be infected so this is the time between these two this is the period that means when the infection from this person will go to another person is the generation time then this latent period is also again a important term latent period which you can see here in the image which is marked with the blue color so latent period is the time from infection to infectiousness that means this here where the entry has been processed so after the entry till the infectiousness whatever the time lag between there it why whatever the time period is there that is latent period so the correct answer for the interval between entry and maximum infectivity as you can see here in the diagram this is the entry point and this has infected another person 
it is not within whereas if you will consider the incubation this is within infector only this time lag is between infector only from entry to the symptoms and generation time is the time lag between the entry to the infector and again the next entry to the infectee so here there is a difference in generation time as the name suggests generation two people are involved and in incubation one only one person is involved which is infector from entry to the symptoms is incubation and from entry from one person to entry to another person is the generation time so it is interval between entry of microorganism and maximum infectivity next question is in case of non communicable diseases the time interval between the disease beginning and diagnosis is that means uh, non communicable diseases uh, which you very well know the non communicable diseases are uh, diseases which not easily transfer means they do not transfer only from one person to another person they remain confined to that person only so in case of such non communicable diseases the time interval between the disease beginning that means disease has started the symptoms are there in the body but it has not been diagnosed yet so that period is whether it is latent period whether generation time or all of them the correct answer is it is latent period latent period uh, in case of non infectious diseases like atherosclerosis or mental diseases so this is the incubation period sort of time only but in case of non communicable it is called as latent period next question is incubation period depends on dash factors whether it depends on host immunity whether it depends on type of infection whether it depends on pathogenicity of the microorganism or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them because as per the terminology of the incubation period incubation period occurs in the same individual from the entry to appearance of the symptom so host immunity infection kaun sa hai which type of, of infection it is and pathogenicity entry to the symptom in the same person so host immunity how much immune the host is to the infection it depends on that also then which infection it is it is uh, does it spread fast or does the microorganism is very slow growing it depends on that type of infection also uh, is it uh, uh, processing at a slower rate or the faster rate then pathogenicity of the microorganism how much harmful that microorganism is so all these factor are taken into consideration when one is talking about the incubation period next question is the time lag between the entry of the microorganism and appearance of symptoms is whether it is incubation period communicability period generation time or all of them the correct answer is it is incubation period once the microorganism enter inside the host until it shows the symptoms that is incubation period next question is immunity develops in person after clinical infection subclinical infection or vaccination or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them immunity develops after clinical infection also that means the person has been exposed to that infection or suffering from that infection uh, with proper symptoms is clinical infection so after that also person can develop immunity then subclinical infection sub in case of infection when it is asymptomatic at that time also the person can uh, develop the immunity and after vaccination it is obvious that person will develop the immunity so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is transplacental transmission diseases are now transplant transplacental transmission are also known as vertical infections now disease agent in case of when the disease agent is transmitted from infected mother to the fetus it is called as transplacental transmission uh, 
so these uh, the diseases which are transmitted through this route uh, are whether rubella aids hepatitis b or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them aids is also possible hepatitis b is also possible and rubella is also possible to transmit from mother to fetus next question is the diseases which can be transmitted through direct contact are now as far as the direct contact is concerned the infection is transmitted by direct contact of skin of two persons or it is uh, contact is possible by means uh, skin the, by touching also or by coming in contact by sexual intercourse also or living very close to that infected person these are the various ways by which direct direct contact is possible or direct transfer is possible and as in case of rabies also that is hydrophobia the virus is inoculated into the skin by the bite of infected animal so that is also a direct transfer only so the diseases uh, are leprosy aids rabies or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them leprosy is through direct contact skin contact aids is through sexual contact and rabies is also uh, inoculated into the skin through the bite of a infected person sorry the bite of a infected animal so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is infections transmitted by direct contact through whether skin contact touching sexual contact or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them infection uh, infections transmitted by direct contact are possible through skin contact also by touching also by sexual contact also or bite of any infected animal or infected uh, host also means whoever is infected earlier bite of that uh, animal also next question is when the droplet can't directly infect and they fall on the dust or some article and then infect is that droplet is whether it is direct droplet whether is it, whether it is infected dust whether it is droplet nuclei or none of them the correct answer is it is infected dust when the droplet falls on dust or some article it is infected dust next question is when the moisture content from tiny droplets whatever the droplets come out from the infected person when the moisture evaporates from that droplets and the microorganisms from whatever the droplets uh, when moisture evaporates whatever the microorganisms are there they remain suspended in the air uh, the state is called as whether it is direct droplet infected dust droplet nuclei or none of them the correct answer before going to correct answer we will see this image now see this is the infected person the droplets are there out now from the infected person uh, few droplets are falling that is infected dust uh, and then few are on some person which are which are infecting another person and few are going straight means after moisture evaporation they will become or the microorganisms will remain suspended in the form of droplet nuclei so the correct answer is it is droplet nuclei when moisture evaporates and microorganisms suspend in the air the state is called as droplet nuclei next question is when the droplets are inhaled directly from the air since they can't travel long means as you have seen here when since they can't travel long when they are inhaled by another person directly the state is whether it is direct droplet infection whether it is infected dust infection whether it is droplet nuclei infection or all of them definitely droplet nuclei is not there because droplet nuclei it is suspended state here it is directly uh, transferring from air to uh, another person since they cannot travel long uh, definitely it is not the infected dust because it is falling on some article or dust so the correct answer is it is direct droplet infection directly it will infect another host next question is 
ड्रॉपलेट इन्फेक्शन इज पॉसिबल इन डैश वेज वेदर इट इज पॉसिबल इन डायरेक्ट ड्रॉपलेट इन्फेक्शन वेदर इट इज पॉसिबल द वे इन्फेक्टेड डस्ट इन्फेक्शन वेदर ड्रॉपलेट न्यूक्लियर इन्फेक्शन और ऑल ऑफ देम द करेक्ट आंसर इज इट इज ऑल ऑफ देम जस्ट नाउ वी डिस्कस्ड डायरेक्ट ड्रॉपलेट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल इन्फेक्टेड डस्ट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल एंड ड्रॉपलेट न्यूक्लियर दैट मीन्स सस्पेंडेड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम इन्फेक्शन इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल सो विथ दिस वी फिनिश विथ फ्यू ऑफ द एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम हेल्थ एजुकेशन कम्युनिटी फार्मसी एपिडेमियोलॉजी चैप्टर थैंक यू